So on the confirm page, um, what I need to do is I need to, I guess, receive that information, and once I've received it, uh, run a little query that goes and gets all the, the the whole article, so that the person deleting the article can just double check that it is in fact the right one. Now, um, because I'm going to be taking this the ID number of that article to a third page, delete article, um, we may have a small problem because we get it from the first page, it gets um, sent through via the get method, and I'll just go back here. Um, this is here when we tack it onto the end of uh, a URL and a link, that's using the get uh, method to send information through. Um, that actually, that data is only going to survive for this page. As soon as I leave this page here, delete confirm, um, that get data disappears, so I'm not going to be able to take it through. So to get around that, I'm actually going to create a session variable. Now sessions enable you to carry information as long as you want until you end the session or until you close the browser. So they're quite useful um, variables or arrays really. Um, and they can hold multiple bits of data and you can have lots of sessions running at the same time. So now the first thing you're going to do, if you're going to have a session on a page, is go session underscore start and then bracket bracket and then semicolon as always. Um, and I'm going to create that session. So it's dollar underscore session is what you call it. Then I'm going to put square brackets on and then an apostrophe and I'm going to call my session delete article. So I close the apostrophe, close the square bracket. Now I also want to put, um, give it I guess a particular bit of information. So I'm going to put square bracket, apostrophe and news ID apostrophe square bracket. So this is um, what my session is going to look like. And I want that to be equal to dollar sign underscore get, and then in square brackets, apostrophe news ID, apostrophe square bracket, and as always, finish with a semicolon. So what that says is that news ID that gets sent through in the URL using the get method, whatever gets sent through, we're going to put it into the session variable. Now, our next step is now to run that query that goes and gets the information from the table based on the record that was selected. Uh, again, I will paste that in, and you can see here I've got confirm SQL is the variable. Here's my SQL query that's going to run. The only thing that's different from usual is I've actually put a variable here, this dollar sign get into the middle of it, and it looks very confusing. And what we've got here says where news ID equals, then what I do is I put an apostrophe, so that first little bit there's an apostrophe, um, then question mark, then a full stop, then the dollar sign get news ID stuff, after the last square bracket put a full stop, then speech marks and apostrophe to end it. And I'll just put a space there so you can see all that. So it looks like three lines but that's a speech mark followed by an apostrophe. And then the last speech marks there are actually ending that whole variable. Okay. So that is the most complicated part about that. So remember it starts with an apostrophe, I guess, to break out of um, the, the uh, variable for a second. Then speech marks there, and then a full stop which concatenates, in other words it adds it on. The thing we want to put in there, full stop again, then the speech marks, and then an apostrophe. So that'll run that query. Down the bottom here, in the body of the page, I'm going to echo that information so the user can see it. So I'll just paste that in again. Where was I? There we go. So there's a lot of paragraph tags and stuff there. Essentially what I've done is I've just put a heading that says confirm the article to delete, and then in each paragraph I've just got um, the echo um, from that record set and headline. And that record set there, RS confirm, comes from up here in line 7 when I put the information into an associative array. So uh, that will display the information. The um, last thing I guess I need to do then is just put in a do they agree whether they want to um, delete it or not. So um, just uh, I'll just have I guess a new paragraph for that and I'll make a link a ref equals and if they are wrong so they'll go back to delete select.php so I'll put I don't know, what's the text here? Oops. Um, I don't know, made a mistake. And close the link and close the paragraph. And if they decide they have got the right one, um, this was going to link to delete article.php and delete this article. OK. 
Okay, close the link, close the paragraph. All right, so if I go to my design view for a moment, you'll see confirm article, there's the information being displayed. Oops, made a mistake, takes you back. Delete this article, takes you forward to delete article.